Hey guys, I am Mario Vegas and you are watching Tank Zone. This time star of the day is Stingray 2. Stingray 2 is United States Tier 7 light tank developed in 1995-1996. Stingray 2 was developed in Cadillac Gauge as upgrade for original Stingray. Stingray 2 had new turret with improved frontal armor and upgraded fire control system. But unfortunately, only single uh, Stingray 2 prototype was built. It never saw action and was retired in 2003. However, however, we should not dismiss it only because of lack of service history. Its armament and speed is more than suitable for light cavalry or light infantry fire support role. And now let's dive into the game. Let's start with Stingray's two stats and retrofits. So this Stingray two stats sustained damage, 430 damage with 640 millimeter penetration and damage per minute 7045. Uh, single shell reload time 4.42 seconds. Not bad. Defense. Hit points. 2450. Its frontal hull armor is capable to deflect auto cannon fire and uh, some larger caliber shells as well. But it has very weak armor on sides, rear, and its turret is vulnerable as well. Uh, it's something to always bear in mind. Watch out for enemies on the sides. Mobility. Maximum speed 66 km per hour with a moderate acceleration uh, 4.06 seconds. But very important point is that Stingray 2 movement does not reduce camouflage factor, which is very useful bonus. Uh, so hull traverse uh, 40 Point forty-three degrees per second. All that um, uh, makes it very mobile and maneuverous tank. Good camouflage, thirty-four percent overall and forty-two uh, percent stationary. Nice vision range, uh, four hundred sixty-three point eight meters. However, its profile is too big to compete over uh, scouting duties with uh, other more specialized vehicles for that. So next uh, is targeting. Um, depression minus 7 degrees, elevation 20 degrees and excellent, excellent accuracy for tank. 0 0.089. It's very nice for tank with aiming time 1.89. 17 seconds and turret traverse speed of 48.83 degrees per second. Stingray 2 has brilliant on the move accuracy which is very handy for quick attacks and flanking maneuvers. Uh, let's take a look on retrofits. Uh, these are my, so you may have different, uh, so uh, therefore you may have different stats, but nevertheless, uh, here they are. So I choose to fit on electro optical uh, absorbing paint, uh, which boosts uh, camo factor, uh, augment optics uh, that gives uh, uh, additional vision range, and advanced muzzle reference system that increases accuracy. So let's move to the armament. Uh, 105 millimeter uh, L7A3 rifle tank cannon with a four shot autoloader. So its uh, ready rack system allows you to fire four rounds before full automatic reload. But we should bear in mind that uh, full uh, four shell reload uh, taking some time and uh, it's approximately 16 seconds uh, for a full uh, reload. Um, however, you can still uh, continue firing without waiting full reload 
and in this case it will be only 4.42 seconds for single shot reload ammunition for uh, this tank 105 millimeter armor piercing fin stabilized discharging sabre uh, heat and uh, high explosive or he rounds so enough options to deal with any target in uh, any situation of course tank has a fitted uh, uh, machine gun as well after weighing out all these machines characteristics we are looking at highly mobile and maneuverable support tank it is very effective when you combine it in a battle groups with the main battle tanks it's very useful during flanking maneuvers and if situation requires stingray 2 cannon is powerful and accurate enough to be used effectively as temporary uh, replacement for tank destroyers uh, I think it's quite enough uh, to be a successful light tank, at least in a game. And now let's take a look at its performance in action. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, just smash and destroy that thumbs up button and subscribe. Please do not forget to leave your comments and suggestions. That would be all for today. Uh, stay tuned, be safe, good luck. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.